Hey, Key, there's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me if you're interested. Two good options, but which would you choose? Okay, um... I'm sorry, Miriam, but this is a game about, um, this, this is a dating simulator, and, um, it's a, Colonel Sanders, he's the main character. I feel like I'm supposed to sit by him. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't want to hurt you. I'm supposed to choose this, I have to, I need to get the hearts. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. Do I get hearts or, do, or does he hate that I abandoned my best friend? Like, how is this gonna? It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me the seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. Oh, I didn't get any hearts for that. That's fine. At least Mariam didn't seem upset. She just kind of disappeared. So hopefully that won't be like, hopefully that this doesn't lead me down like a bad route where like I see her in a dark alley and she's like, you didn't sit next to me. And then she jumps me with Ashley and Bam 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 Man or something. Anyway. As soon as you've settled into your seat, your very comfy wooden seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. Is it about chicken? Yay, a quiz about me. No, it's not about you, man. It's not. This incredibly important and surprising short quiz will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. Uh, if train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? If train A is traveling to point B. If, if train A is traveling to point B and point, how? Oh, duh, a doy is extremely important. It, looking at you, Pop. That's right. Why? Why did it take me so long to? They threw me off with the train A and the train. But that really threw me off. Just like real math, they always tell you all this stuff that you don't need to know when you're solving these word problems really threw me off with that train a train b stuff they really did you should always wash your hands before cooking it's very important far as is to tree as chicken is to it's gotta be feather it's gotta be feather it's gotta be that's right oh, i'm killing it i'm winning i'm awesome i'm getting everything right and I'm not looking at a walkthrough. This is just all me. It's all me. No walkthrough for me. Uh, it's so nice to be able to play a game and not be bad at it. <laughs> Anyways. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? I'm gonna have to go with spork. Because, you know, when you go to KFC or uh, really when you go to like any restaurant, and they give you the knife, and they give you the spork, and they give you the napkin, and it's in the plastic, you know? Also, they said something about a spork earlier. I'm gonna go with spork. That's right. Of course it's right, Hadoi. What food is best for a broken heart? Oh, okay. Let's see. Anything as long as it is prepared with love and not too much salt. Camel meat. It, okay. A pancake that looks like silly face. I'm gonna guess it's the first one. And I'm gonna hope that by the end of this game, I don't get like the bad ending where it's like, I'm the one with the broken heart and I'm eating food with love and not too much salt, you know? Like, like I don't know, like is it just me or does this seem like, uh, what's the word? What's the word, what's the word? Uh, what's that word? foreshadowing? Is this foreshadowing? Seems like foreshadowing to me, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know. 
That's right. Of course it is. Is Sprinkles a good boy? Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He's the best boy. He's the best. That's right. <laughs> Your total score is perfect score. Five out of five. <laughs> yeah, I'm clapping for myself. Wow, be honest. Did you cheat? I, I didn't. I really didn't. You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching your, you tally your score. He's impressed. <laughs> I know we just met, but I have to confess. So soon? I think you have a beautiful brain. Who <gasps> tell you? Man, this is weird. Hot diggity dog. Hot diggity key. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. He likes smart people. Does it matter if I have sweaty pits? I'm smart. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking also would be serious about eating. True, true day. A delicious fragrance, I bet it's chicken, a delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. I bet it's chicken, I bet it's chicken, I bet it's chicken. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. See, I'm really starting to feel bad for the blank-faced student. He doesn't have a name. He just looks very bland. It's, it's so bad for him. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. Yeah, we love lunch. Yeah. But I... Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said, shh, in honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. He's going to pull out a bucket of chicken. I, just, I know it's going to be drumsticks, it's going to be thighs, and I think it's going to be like two chicken breasts. I'd like to take the chicken breast, if I could please, because I'm not a big fan of drumsticks, not a big fan of thighs, but chicken breasts. That's good. Wings are also good. Breast and wings. Tenders, also delicious. Thighs and drumsticks, no thank you. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? gonna be a bucket of crispy chicken. Colonel Sanders lift a large bucket of why do anime food gotta look so delicious? Man, it looks so good. Oh man, sometimes the food in anime looks better than the food in real life. But the food in real life you can actually eat. This I can't eat, but it looks so pretty and delicious. Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Like the king that he is, its contents glimmer in the light. Look at it glimmering. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you and you begin to feel warm and safe. You remember what home feels like. Home. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept! Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, stop thinking and start eating! For years, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. But by, by my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. 
you look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. That's all I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, he's not gonna tell us the secret recipe. That being said, I think it was already leaked online. So yeah. Um. So this bucket the chicken, it, there, there's, it, that's for us, right? Like the people here, like me and Mariam and you and Pop, cause there's not enough for everybody. There's just not. And like I said before, I have dibs on the breast. What? Wait, that's Van Van, not not Ashley. Okay. What you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? For sure. Nah, my dude, nah. I'm just uh drafting a last will and testament in case uh one of those ingredients is uh poison. Got him. What the heck is that? He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like, writing in my diary? Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slots closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants them all to herself. But you see, she's not the main character. I'm the main character. I am the MC. This game will cater to me. I will be the champion. I will be the hero. Me, 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 not you. Oh, please. Well, Van Van, the man man, if you don't want any, I'll take his. Whoa, hold on. I guess, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There is enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. Whatever voice I gave him, I just keep changing it. It's kind of there and it, it comes and it goes. That's not what you're going to do. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. It's just... Wow. But what the heck? Okay, this is just silly. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Swim toward the light. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Focus your mind and meditate on the moment. Try and identify every flavor. Um, savor the moment and everything that, um, I feel like I should focus on the flavor, right? You let the food rest in your mouth and focus on it. Scrutinizing every, I didn't want to scrutinize, oh man, oh, I chose the wrong thing, didn't I? Darn it, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have picked that, I shouldn't have picked it. I don't think I should have picked this answer, but I'm going to roll with it. Salt, maybe? Pepper? Too obvious. Oregano? Basil? Maybe, but there's something else. I actually think all that stuff is in it. Something dark? Something spicy? You dig deeper, deeper, deeper. If only you had a shovel. Yes, even deeper still until you find it. Could it be... Really? Really, they just gonna block it out? <laughs> they're, they're gonna censor it? They're not gonna let me see? Alright, that's understandable. You don't want me to know your secrets. I understand that. I see what you're doing, KFC. I see you. Peekaboo. Okay, let me stop. That's just... Okay, okay. He really did it. How bold. How adventurous. To use... 
you try to go even deeper into the sea of flavors. But this revelation alone is more than you can handle. You snap out of it and realize that this information was meant to remain a secret. And yet, now you know, a mantle of responsibility now rests upon your shoulders. Oh, maybe that... Was there any wrong answer? I don't know. As you look around, you realize that everyone in the room is consumed by the lunch. No one noticed that you traveled through space and time. Unimportant. After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. You approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders... How many times am I going to have to say Colonel Sanders? Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he is doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Because this is a dating so a Anything for a fellow chef. Wh why, does, why did his face do that? What exactly was on that chicken? Oh, oh, I, I guess because it's a secret. So he's like, you don't want to tell me. <gasps> How bold to come out and ask. It's, what the heck? It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've only got two more days. Ugh. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. Remember, He's clearly not going to give it up easily. But it doesn't hurt to be persistent. We're talking about the chicken recipe. We're talking about the chicken recipe. This game is weird. The game is weird. Weird, weird, weird. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? Eh, it should be fun. Aww. You've got Moxie. I'll give you that. Well, give me the secret recipe. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure that there are no cars coming as he crosses the street. No. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers, it's just awkward. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use, it's something my great grandmother taught me. Wow, you never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure would you get some of it if you searched. And definitely isn't the flavor you tasted before. So now you've got two ingredients too. You're, you're, you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe, but you don't tell Colonel Sanders that, shh, it's a secret, I'm not telling him. While you're wrapped up in the huge, that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared while everyone else is still in the cafeteria. You decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again, howdy. Oh, howdy yourself. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I graduated. Sounds like you've got big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Alone together for the first time. You figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Neg him to show your own strength, okay? Wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Be modest, but thoughtful. Um, mm, well, I'm with a big idea to, uh, what would be good to do? I don't, wow him with a big idea that, uh, I don't know if I should tell him how to make his chicken. He might not like that. I'm gonna be modest and thoughtful because I mean if I start saying you should add this he might be like don't you tell me how to make my chicken and get really offended or something oh yeah I got the hearts I got the hearts he liked that he liked that well I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food now you got his attention compliments flattery will get you everywhere 
The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery was perfect. I appreciate the compliment, Ki. I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today. Wait, wait, hold on a second. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. We should head back inside the next, the, 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 the next lesson starts soon. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could ever need. They, 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 they could need. Um, 